Alright guys, what's going on? Time for another shooting. Louisville police released body camera footage of an early morning encounter between officers and an 18-year-old man that quickly escalated into a shooting that left the teen and an officer wounded. Officer Patrick Dahagren, Dahlgren? That's Dahlgren. Suffered a graze uh, wound to the shoulder, police said, while the teen identified as DeCedric Benford was shot once uh, in what looked to be the torso and is expected to be released from the hospital to face charges, including attempted murder of a police officer. Fantastic. It's a shame he's still alive. During a media briefing Tuesday, LMPD Chief Steve Conrad and Lieutenant Theodore Item of the Public Integrity Unit showed body camera footage to, of the shooting and offered a preliminary account of the events leading up to it. Because what you can see in the video, I want to point out after watching it how quickly things Things can change during any encounter between the police and members here in the community, Conrad said, and in this case you're going to see how it went from a relatively calm interaction and it quickly turned into an incident requiring split-second decision to be made by our officers. Around 1.40 a.m., Dahlgren spotted someone sitting in a car spotted in a dark stretch of service road along the 6900 block of Bardstown Road near Fern Creek. <clears throat> Item said Dahlgren, who joined the department in February 2018, smelled marijuana as he walked up to the car. In the body cam footage, he can be heard asking Bedford, is there more weed in the car you smoked everything you had Benford got out of the car and was briefly patted down by Dahlgren and the interaction seemed cordial at first with Benford telling the officer someone took his parking spot at a nearby com uh, apartment complex and Dahlgren asking him about recently purchasing the car and the coronavirus outbreak this last little bit is just them making small talk and you'll see what I'm talking about a few seconds later Benford is see uh, seen getting back into the driver's seat and reaching in the center console for what looked to be a drink after he steps out of the car again with the officer Trevor Troutman uh after he steps out of the car again and off and with Officer Trevor Tryman walking up to the passenger side, Benford looks to reach for something near the driver's seat. Don't be reaching, Dahlgren tells him. <clears throat> Don't be reaching. There is a brief struggle and then a single shot can be heard, which police said Benford fired. The bullet grazed Dahlgren's shoulder, police said, and he briefly uh, he was briefly hospitalized. Police said they believe Benford fired one more shot at the officers as he ran from the car. No other officer was injured. Dahlgren and Tryman each fired four shots in Benford's direction. One of those shots passed through Benford's torso. Camera footage shows off officers finding Benford on the pavement nearby. Police said Benford's injuries don't appear to be life-threatening, and it's something the officers hope they never have to do, firing the weapons in the line of duty, Conrad said. Both Dahlgren and Troutman, who also joined the force in February 2018, have been placed on administrative reassignment, which is standard during a shooting investigation involving officers. Personnel files released from the department show Dahlgren was reprimanded in November 2018 for being found at fault for a vehicle accident the previous month, and again in January of this year for violating the department's policy on attending court. Both officers have received uh, commendations from the chief, including one in July of 2019 for their efforts in talking a woman out of her, uh, out of taking her own life. And in April of this year, Dahlgren was committed for an 11-minute conversation with an armed suicidal man that ended peacefully, and the man tossing the handgun on the ground. Conrad acknowledged the heightened community tension around the department amid the fatal shooting of Brianna Taylor, and said he could not discuss too many details of Tuesday's shooting because of the pending internal probe. This is the scrutiny that our officers, uh, they know that comes from having fired the weapons, and the scrutiny that our public deserves so they know that they can trust the police department conrad said let's watch the footage all right there's no audio until here now oh well we need to see something very very specific all right this is him walking up i want you guys to see this right he's gonna open up the door he's gonna open up more look at all the smoke coming out look at all the smoke coming out now let me stop right here, and and we can make our first analysis of the suspect in the situation. You're a fucking idiot. Not because you're smoking weed. Look at all the weed that you're wasting. All that smoke is going in. What, are you trying to get your car high? You should be holding that shit in so when you blow it out, there's no smoke. Guess what? If you were smoking like a fucking professional, the cop wouldn't be able to smell it. Uh, at least not like this. Just saying. So I have no problem with them smoking weed. I have a problem with he's fucking wasting it. Fucking amateur. Okay, so we don't know what's going on. I don't care what you're for. What's going on with you? I'm just asking why you're out in the street smoking weed. Well, smoking weed. Obviously. Is there more weed in the car? No. You haven't smoked everything you had? Shakes said yes. He's fitting to go in his house anyways. Like, that makes it okay. <laughs> also, I'm, it's, I'm fixing to, not fitting to. Just, you know. Just saying. Saying. You got anything on you? 
No knives, no drugs, no guns. Okay. So he's <laughs> he has a gun in the car and and he has weed. So there's a lie already. Now he starts reaching. All right. Now look, I'm still still being cool, laughing at it. Oh, there's my bowl. Okay, so no drugs. All right, smart checks the hood. Okay, so now look, everything's cool. So which apartment is? He's making sure that he's right about what he's doing. Look, he's got his ID, no problem. Here you go. You say uh, which one? 21 or 23? And you don't know this truck? And look, he's made nice, no sir, everything's cool. You see 21 parked half on and half off, so they took up. Now, the, him talking about the, the parking situation seems very reasonable, right? That seems very reasonable. You're over here, you're in your car, you smoke a little bit of weed, waiting for your parking space to open up because you don't want to get towed or ticketed or have some type of fine because you're parking in the wrong spot. That's a, that, that's no problem. The officer is going to check you for weapons and drugs and things like that. He's probably going to want to check your car because he already has the right to do that because you rolled up and you've got weed, right? And you're just you're chilling where you're not really supposed to be. So he's going to check. And, and everything would be cool. Now, he knows that there's a gun, which is why he doesn't just let them do what they, what they could do. But if he didn't have the gun or he had been truthful this whole time, he wouldn't have been in this situation. They would have given a ticket for the weed, maybe, maybe, maybe just a warning and told him to go about his business. Now you good. All right, now he's gonna wait for someone smart. So now while he's waiting, he doesn't want to just stand there in silence. So let's try. He's gonna ask him this because the answers that this guy's gonna give him are gonna give him a read on things. If he starts acting kind of fishy, if he starts giving a story or you know saying things. When you lie, if you are asked a series of questions where you have to keep up with that lie and you're not prepared for it, people are going to see it, especially police officers who are trained to see that shit. Anyone with any common sense. So now he's got some good answers, right? Quick answers. He knows exactly where he bought it from. He didn't have to be like, oh, uh, I got it from uh, uh, that, that dealership down the road. Are one right now in COVID or no? How was it? Like test driving? Now, this is all small talk as far as I'm concerned. Just trying to be nice, just you know. Like talk about hey, look how how are how are you dealing with things going on in the normal everyday world, especially since it's something I haven't experienced. Ah, okay, hang on, let's go back. Can I get my stuff out of my car? Now he says, "What are you getting?" And then instead of answering, he just goes in. Which the cop seems to be okay with, which to me is a big red flag, but whatever. He's letting him crawl in, so he sits down. He's fishing around, he's grabbing things, he's moving things, he's reaching over. Pulls, it shows him he's got two drinks, which is odd. Why are you grabbing two drinks? But whatever. That threw me off. I'm like, hey, are you that thirsty? Now his, his, his partner pulls up. Now here's where I see it. Look, he's putting the drinks back down. He's moving around. He's moving things around just to to make it where he can get back into the car. Stand back here. And then he doesn't respond to that. Don't be reaching. Don't be reaching. And there's the first gunshot. Look at how fast all this happened. Don't be reaching. Don't be reaching. That was four seconds from the time he said, "Don't be reaching." All right, so they pull, good, good, good. they pull off the officer whose body camera footage we're watching. He just got here, shot. Seven, seven twenty-one. Echo. I got shot by Barstown. And he's going after him. He's he's going after him. Start me a mess. But he doesn't know where he is, and I think he's starting to realize he got shot right about now because he stops advancing. What's your location again? Barstown. And I think it's also smart for him to wait for the backup. Alright, so you can't see him. 
He's paying attention to comms. Now he's pissed because he knows the guy got away and has a weapon. Check my shoulder, man. Right shoulder. So he's not even 100% sure if he got shot. Smart, they're moving away from the light to make themselves not as much of a target. Shoulder wound. Still in it though. Keeping his cool. I don't think I hit him. Get back inside! Which is funny because one of the two of them did. Alright, so they're gonna hang out, they're gonna do this for a while. They're gonna creep forward. You're gonna hear the communications between the cops telling everybody where they go. They're gonna start looking through the cars to make sure that they aren't gonna get flanked. Oh, by the way, I slowed down the actual shooting. There isn't anything I could see frame by frame of showing him with the gun or any of the shots fired or anything like that. It's it's too dark. Do I have an officer shot? Looks, Looks like, like just, just a graze on my right, right shoulder. shoulder. He's like, yeah, no big deal. I'm still clearing cars. Okay, the officer shot. Where are you at? Bartosi, look. Now this is where I give this officer some good commendation. So he found one. Now he hears it and he, he's going in, still shot. He's going in shot, I love it. Alright, right up here, this is how far the guy made it. And he's been laying here probably for a while. Dying. Well, he didn't die, but he would have. Alright, check this out. I can't breathe. Listen to how listen to his breathing. Behind your back now. This is that guy. Fuck this dude up. One after we got one in custody. Starting MS for him too. You got guys got work in the back. Alright, my favorite line's coming up. I can't breathe. Well, <laughs> oh, hang on. Let's pause it. Let's pause it. Let's pause it. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Well, you should have thought of that before you shot me. And then he says, I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. Oh, okay. Let's let's go ahead and completely abstain from taking any responsibility for our actions. I didn't have a choice, really. I didn't see anyone standing in your vehicle, sitting in your vehicle, forcing your hand to reach for a gun, forcing you to fight with the officers, and forcing you to pull the gun back and fire the fucking gun. No one made you pull the trigger. No one forcibly made you do that. You were the only person there. You're the only person in control of your life. Stop trying to pass the fucking buck. Take responsibility for yourself this is why you're probably going to spend the rest of your life or a good 40 years in fucking prison off of my fucking tax dollars grow the fuck up i'm sorry that you're alive and you know what's even great what's really funny about this you got shot in the back running like a bitch for all that hard shit that everybody talks about the blacks and how he was running like a bitch he got shot in the back like a bitch he didn't even hit the officer. He's a piss-ass shot. He doesn't know how to smoke read. He's a fuck-ass criminal. He's a bitch. And a coward. Take responsibility for yourselves or get fucking shot. You could have just taken the fucking charge without it getting fucking shot. Now you're going to go to jail for fucking or prison for a long, long time. Longer than if they had just found that gun. You dumb, stupid son of a bitch. All right, now this is another officer and their angle. There isn't really, there isn't really much going on here. They're looking at his, at his wound. All 
All right, and then it goes through them talking through the, the, the videos and whatnot. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, uh, did, did, did he have a choice? I think so. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.